what is going on here? You're probably wondering, why is this beautiful R90 Roadster Sport got a, a wall clock as a wristwatch? Well, what we've done is we've just done a new installation video for the fancy bike thing, Tail Tidy, and we've timed it. So if you're interested to see how we install this bad boy, stay tuned. Right, morning guys, it is, you know, I have no idea what date it is today. And uh, the date today is Wednesday, the 13th of February. Okay, <laughs> now, have you ever seen an R90 with such an amazing wristwatch? <laughs> I'm going to record the installation, leaving that on there so you can see there's no trickery when I start saying it only takes 15 minutes. I reckon I can probably do it in 10. It could be 20, who knows? Um, but I'm going to show you exactly how your package will arrive in one of these and uh, right from start to finish if you are a customer ordering this kit receiving it opening it and applying it to your bike so I'm going to bring the camera a little bit forward I had to put it right out there because I'm so friggin tall um, and it can't always fit in my head and as you can see from some previous videos now I have made a mistake because on the last video I'll stick a link just here or here somewhere I'm not very good at this editing stuff um, I did say that th that the last video would be an installation video but it wasn't it just showed you the difference between the new light and the original light so if you haven't seen that video yet i really recommend you to, to go and see that because what we're going to do today is actually install the original light because i'm waiting for a, a big load of stock of the brand new light so whilst we're waiting for that i thought i'd quickly make a video today showing you how to install it it looks the same but obviously the the brightness of the run light is different to the original with the new one so have a look at that video i'll put a link up here so you so you can see it um right okay so i'm going to bring the camera forward and the whole idea is i'm going to keep, going to keep that clock in the camera view the whole time because i am going to fast forward certain parts of the video but that's not going to lie all right so so that's going to keep going around so the time now is uh 22 21 22 minutes past 10 in the morning um so hopefully we'll get this all uploaded on youtube today Right, let's bring the video over, the camera over here. Right, okay. Ooh, so, I'm sorry if you can't see my head, you might be able to see it. Um, it's a problem when you're doing these videos alone. I can't always uh, see what's going on. This is all actually being recorded on an iPad Pro. Um, right, okay, so you can see the clock. Sorry, it took me quite a while to set it up. <laughs> um, so we're gonna open the bag. God, this is a struggle as it is already waste of the DPD mailbag. <laughs> so, this is what you get. Open this up. Hoping you can see that well there. Nice protective cover. And there we have the light. Right, I'm actually going to take this out and modify this so it's got the, the, the new resistance inside the harness or the new harness installed on it. So it's uh, this light will go out as one of the, the new lights. But we're going to use this today just for, for demonstration purposes. So there's the light. I'm going to put that on the chair next to me just here. And we have the under tray, which is going to replace the plastic one that's on the bike right now put that on the floor next to me I've got a nice sponge floor so nothing to get marked on here <clears throat> and there's your license plate holder a bag of bolts now we're probably we're, we're actually probably not going to need these bolts at all um, because the OEM ones that are on the bike fit it perfectly fine but um, I always like to throw a spare bag in there just in case they are hex heads um, <clears throat> so they're not the Torx ones like you get on the bike, but like I say, you can use the OEM Torx heads that are already on the bike. But we'll leave them, leave them to one side. And we've got a little uh, license plate light as well. And then the bit which you probably won't be using, but I, it, it comes in the kit. This is the little um, optional turn signal bracket. So if you want to, you can fit your original OEM turn signals to this tail kit. 
and it just fits underneath the under tray and you literally bolt them onto the side. It's the same fittings that you have on the side of here and you can put them on. Or you could stick on some other like Rizomas or, or Wonderlick turn signals. So I'm gonna put that down there to one side. <coughs> so we're gonna start recording now. Oh, sorry, we're gonna start <coughs> the install, excuse me. So the first thing we need to do is remove the rear seat or the rear cowl. In this case, it's the rear cowl. And all you need for this is a set of straightforward Torx um, keys, um, or if you've got Torx pieces, I've got a little, um, a little set here of uh, lots of different choices there, and there's some Torx heads in there as well, and a little screwdriver. Or if you're really, really cheeky, use a little electric one. So, <clears throat> literally just underneath here, there'll be a large bolt to remove. So there's one bolt. Pop that in the box. There's the top cover there. Put that in a safe place. Little tool bag. Right, the next thing we're gonna do is um, there'll be cable ties underneath here. Now, the, I've, I've actually already taken these cable ties off um, just so I can access all, all the wires. Um, so you just snip the necessary cable ties off so you can free all of the, uh, the cables under here. This seat does not need to come off, okay? Do not take the seat off. So you're just gonna confuse things. I get so many customers uh, emailing me saying, it's the wrong shape bolt, it's, it's, it's not right for it because they've gone under the seat and they pulled out the complete wrong plug. The plug we are going for is right under here, okay? It's plugged in literally into the back of the original tail light. So what we need, now need to do is remove this whole panel here. So the instructions come with the email confirmation. So when you buy one of these kits from me, I send you a tracking link to show you the, the, the shipments on its way. And there's a link in there to a Dropbox file where you can download a multiple page, that is seven or eight pages, in, you know, what step-by-step -step instruction, exactly how to remove all this and put the tail kit on. Um, right, so let's find the right. Right, okay, so there's four bolts, one, two, three, four, under here, are the only ones there. And then there's another three bolts pointing this way, just behind the, the license plate. So let's start taking them out. I've got the wrong size. That's it. I normally wear glasses. <laughs> there's one, there's a next bolt there. Two. Okay, because of the exhaust on this one's a bit high, it's a bit difficult to access with the handheld. So, I haven't, I, you know, I'm not even keeping an eye on the time, so we'll, we'll see on the video how long this takes. Obviously, I am talking to you, so you need to add another five, six minutes to the time. That's now starting to come loose. That will actually pull right off now, that will. And then what we're gonna do is turn it over. And then we have the three bolts I told you about on the back here. Right, so this now comes apart here, so that comes off. And that exposes the plug that we're looking for at the back, which is just there. So by having a look at it, I can see, all I need to do is get one finger at the side of it, give it a squeeze and a good pull. Don't be scared of it, because there's a, they're, they're like the waterproof suction seals on them, so you have to give it a bit, a bit of a good pull. Honestly, the, these wires are well and truly sealed in. They're, they're not going to. They're not going to pull out. This is BMW, after all. 
Right. Now maybe I should have done this beforehand. All we're gonna do is unplug the indicators. And there we go. That is now off. Now we're ready to start putting the tail kit, the new tail kit on. So first things first, we're gonna put this in place. So just pop these out over here, out of the way. So as it goes up, you kind of like offer it up and then you slide it back. There's little, the tiny little teeth there are that which slot into the the other under tray underneath the, the seat. So it clips in, it doesn't clip in place, but it just slides under. You have to hold it there whilst you're then getting the screws and popping it back in place again. Right. And they literally go in the same holes as they were in beforehand. I don't have much luck here at the moment. Okay, so with this one, because these screws have got a little ledge on them, they're not actually going through the steel under tray. So we are gonna use the bolts. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. don't. So the bolts that come in the bag, there's four small ones and four large ones. So we're going for the four small ones. Just going to finger tight now. I'm only putting the, these two on for now, I'm not putting these two on just yet because we're going to fit the license plate. So, put those, those other screws there. <clears throat> so, now license plate. So, we unravel this, Okay, and we thread the the wires through one by one. And pop that on, put the washers back on. So not everybody uses this license plate light, so that's why I like to keep it as an option if you want to remove it and uh, mount your license plate on the on the swing arm. Then a lot of a lot of customers do that because they prefer that look. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a bolt on the end of a thread, <laughs> and I'm really struggling. Okay, there it goes. Okay, I need to get some pliers to, to just give them that give that a tighten up. I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, there's a little cover if you want that to go on there as well. Don't have to put it on there. That, that clicks on, so I'm not going to put it on just right now. So now that's like that. Because we didn't put these on straight away, these share the same hole. So we're going to put the bolts through here. No, I'm going to have to surrender to the specs. That's it. Tighten the other two up. You can see it's bringing the plate right up.
That's good. Right. And then with these wires, they come up underneath. There's a little hole in the under tray where you can poke them up through one at a time again. The second one's a bit tighter because obviously, obviously there's a wire in place. <laughs> Why is it? I always struggle when you're being videoed. But wet it a bit, slide it through. Right. So that's now there. Right. Now we're ready to put the final piece on. Now, because this bike is a Roadster, Roadster Sport, we already have the bolts here to use. Now, even if you've got the um, the pillion frame on here, um, this will still fit absolutely fine, but then maybe use the bolts in the pack instead of using these ones here. So, let's undo these. Find the right piece. No, that's not the right one. The big one. That's the one. So because when you uh, have the, the pillion foot peg frame on, you might find by the time this has gone through the, the light mounts and the, and the, foot, uh, the pillion foot peg frame, it, there might not be enough thread on here. So the ones that come in in the pack are just a little bit longer. Right, so now we put this on, what we're going to do is make sure that the wire is coming f like towards the back and obviously we don't want to catch it so we're going to use the OEM bolts still and because this is the um, rear hump we're using that hole there the one that's in the middle uh, the other one that hole there that is for the rear seat okay and I can't remember if the scrambler scrambler seats are either on that one or that one but it, you, you can tell when, when you fit it because the seat will either fit or it won't fit so, but on the rear hump, it goes there. Right. Right, so then all we're doing this is feeding this forward like so. First thing we do is we plug in the, the brake light. Then we've got the, the license plate light. Plug that in. Plug that in. Now, quite frequently, these license plate lights are wired back to front. Um, the wiring on my harness is spot on, of course. <laughs> um, so if you find the license plate doesn't work, you just swap those two cables over. So black to red, red to black. It doesn't do any damage if you get it the wrong, wrong way around, I promise you. It doesn't do any damage at all, it just won't work. The, the license plate light but um i have known the company where i get these from to wire them back to front sometimes and it's a re re reputable company rng um but i haven't seen it for a while it's a, a few years ago when when we noticed it then we put in the uh these now don't push them all the way in don't click them all the way in because we don't know which one's left and which one's right so if you click it in well depending if you've got fingernails or not so don't click it all the way in, just just push it to and we're not going to tidy this up yet. Now we're going to turn the bike on. Da-da. License plate's working. The light's on. Right. Right indicator. See? I've got them back to front. <laughs> Left indicator. So I'm just going to pull that out. That's just Sod's Law, isn't it? You know, I I'm probably one of the most unluckiest guys that I know. Well... That's probably not a fair comment to say. So now I'm pushing them in and clicking them all the way in. And now you can see we have right indicator, sorry, right, left, and hazards. And there's your brake. Right, okay. So there we have it. So now we're at this stage. All we do, I was going to turn it off, but I'll leave it on because it's so pretty. <laughs> is um well it's up to you how you want to um t 
tidy this up. You've got plenty of room in here to fit all this in and put your tool bag back in there again. But um, the only thing I'm gonna make you aware of is inside here, obviously you've got you've got certain parts of the harness and there's a, there are resistors in here. Um, if you start bending these severely, of course you, you might do some damage um, to the, the solder connections inside the harness. So all I say is as you're filling along here, you've got wires here and then where it's a bit lumpy, just here, try not to bend that bit. You can bend all these bits here, bend this bit down here, but try not to bend this bit here, just, just here. Uh, we have had um, lights come back in the past where that, that, that they've been bent so severely. Not a lot, probably about five in the last four years, but um, just, just be very, very careful where you're bending, okay? So lay that in like so. I'm not gonna do a, a, an amazing job of this. Oh, how long did that all take, by the way? I, 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 <laughs> well, we'll we, we look on the video and we'll find out. I, I don't know what time we started, but all of that, what you just saw, I could have done probably five, six, six minutes quicker. But you know, this isn't a, this isn't a race. This is a, our, our pride and joy that we love very, very much. Right, okay, so that's like so. Put the tool bag back in. And put the seat back on. Sorry, the rear cow or, or, or the pillion seat in some people's cases. And look at that, it's just, it's just a perfect fit. Uh, and then the OEM bolt, or as you can see in the pack, you get a longer bolt if you struggle to get that in, especially if you've got a rear pillion foot peg um, frame on your bike, you, you, you won't get that in. You might make the first few threads make contact, but don't risk it, just put the longer bolt in there. But in this one, this the original will fit in here, Perfect. No, it's not. It's not. It's not made contact yet. No. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to use the longer one. It, it, it is making contact, but I'll be here all day. Because um, it's not only that; it's the the license plate holder as well. That adds a thickness to the whole um, to, to everything there, which which is why you need a a longer. Okay, and that makes contact fine. There we go. Lovely. And then to fit your license plate back on, because some people um, get smaller plates, uh, and I, I also appreciate there's a lot of people who uh, live all over the world and they've got different types of license plates. What I recommend people to do, let's see if I can find one on my workbench, is go on to Amazon. Amazon's great, isn't it? Just order a load of these 3M double-sided sticky pads and you cut them to shape. And you, all, you do, all you do is clean the surface here with an alcoholic wipe uh, and clean the, the back of your license plate and literally stick them on. It's the best way. You can't see it once it's on because it's it's in between the two. You just can't see it at all. Um, that's the best way that is. It really is rather than drilling holes through your license plate. Um, now there is a USA adapter that comes with this. Actually, I'll quickly fetch that. I forgot about that because I appreciate there are there are customers in Canada and USA. So we have these as well. So with this, as you can see, you can see it on the website for an extra, I can't remember. Um, I think it's about 25 or 30 pounds. This literally fits on the back like so, and it comes with all the fittings on it. And so these holes here line up with the uh, Canadian and uh, USA license plates, if you really want that. But I, I just say, just get yourself a decent pads it's the best way. That, that's how a lot of the very nice cars in England, you know, you, you won't see a Bentley or Ferrari with screws going through the, the license plate. They're all stuck on using 3M pads. That's it. Oh, then we have this. 
So, if you don't want to use the indicators on here, all you do is they've got little cutouts here. You know, those little um, those little loops that are underneath uh, your tail for I think I think they're for strapping things to um, if you've got the, the seat or uh, like a rear rack or, or something. So those cutouts are to go around that they are, and it literally fits up there. There are two larger bolts in the pack and there's uh, threaded holes on the under tray. So you can literally fit that up onto there and you can fit your original or some other aftermarket turn signals which go onto here. And then all you have to do is take the top back off again, unplug the turn signals and plug the new turn signals into the BMW harness. It's simple as that. Uh, and we've also had some customers who have had continued using the turn signals and new turn signals and they've spliced the wires in together. Obviously you need to start getting cutters out and soldering iron, etc., and crimps. Um, but that's a straightforward plug and play um, product there. So, and we've got no errors at all on the dash. And bear in mind, this is not, this is the old original run brake. So the difference between this, between the um, run light and the brake light is more obvious on all new lights bought in 2019. So although, you know, I've been selling this for four years, we sold, well, I don't know, what, way over 12, 1300 lights in the last four years um, based on this style here, but we've made it a lot brighter now. Well, it's not brighter, it's just the difference between the runner light and the brake light. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's, it's more significant, the difference between run and brake, so other drivers can see you braking, which is great. So there you are, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you could, please give me a thumbs up on this video on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, because if you subscribe and you click on the bell notification, that then gives me an incentive to make more videos, interesting videos. And, and if there's anything you, you, you want me to do or see, um, leave a comment below, that would be great, just so I can interact with the customers and um, see if I can do something um new on the website um or, or 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 on youtube some sort of video which you might find helpful whether it be the i90 or the gs gs adventure all right thanks for watching